السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Welcome to Ramadan quiz show with Iqra Bangla. I hope your fasting is going very well as usual and wonderfully. Alhamdulillah, everybody's Ramadan goes every time. Fantastic. Because this is the month of blessings, month of power, and month of forgiveness. Alhamdulillah. Respected viewers, as you know, the quiz show with some genius contestants, they come to our studio and perform their best of their ability to win. And inshallah, today we have two genius contestants with us. First, I have next to me is Tahim Rahman. Assalamu alaikum, Tahim. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah, how are you, Tahin? Alhamdulillah. Great to have you here, Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. And then next to Tahim, we have Sara Ahmed. Assalamu alaikum, Sara. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, Sara? Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, great. Both of you are here today. I'm so excited. Alhamdulillah. Okay. First question goes to Tahim Rahman. Ready, Tahir? Yes. Okay, mashallah. There's your question on the screen. What number is Ramadan in the Islamic calendar? Could I have some options, please? Of course, you'll have the options. There are your options. A is the 9. B is 10. And C is 11. And the D option for you, 12. Which number Ramadan falls in Islamic calendar? As you know, the Islamic months are 12 months in Islam. What number Ramadan falls in? 11. 11. Okay. Tahim, your answer was 11. And our time to reveal the correct answer. If it is the correct answer, right, you'll get five, but if it is wrong, that will be zero. Shall I log the answer? Yes. So you said it is the C, option C. Yes. Positive? Yes. Okay. If you say it is C, there we need to see uh oh, that was the wrong answer. C is not the right answer because in Islamic calendar, 11 month is not Ramadan. Yeah. So, Sarah, chance for you. Would you like to take the challenge? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. What is your answer? Um, A. A. Ninth. Box. So you say the ninth month that is the Ramadan month. Yes. Positive. Yes. Listen, if your answer is right, definitely you'll get five. But if it is your answer is wrong, you'll be minus five. Ready for the risk? Yeah. Mashallah, mashallah. Yeah, Sarah says she is ready for the risk. Let's see. There you go. Oh, Alhamdulillah, Mashallah, Mashallah, Sarah. You scored five, although it wasn't meant to you. Alhamdulillah. But there was risk. So you need the answer, Sarah. Ah, that's great. Okay. Let's move on to the next question. Next question goes to Sarah. Sarah, question on the screen. Usually, during Taraweeh, how much of the Quran is recited? If you want, I'll give you the options. In every day in the Taraweeh Salah, right? How much Quran do we recite? Options for you: A, one surah. Option B is half a surah. Option C, 
is one juice and option D is half a juice. So what do you think? How much Quran normally we recite in Taraweeh Salah in the masjid? Half a juice. Half a juice. Okay. So you think half a juice we recite in Taraweeh Salah? Usually. Shall I knock the answer? Yes. Would you like to change your mind? No. Up to you. I'm, I, I, I'm not forcing you. It is up to you. Yes. No? Okay. Maybe this is the right answer. Maybe this is the wrong answer. Let's check. Ready? So you say it is the D. Okay. Uh, um, half a juice it is not the right answer. So that means in the masjid, normally we don't read half a juice during Taraweeh Salah. So, Tahin. Yes. Would you like to take the challenge? No. Why? I don't want to. To risk it? No, I don't want to. <laughs> okay, Tahim. Okay, if you don't like to take the challenge, that's fine, absolutely fine. But in fact, you know the correct answer is the C. One juice. In Tarabir Salah, in the masjid, normally one juice plus minus. But it is one juice plus minus. Alhamdulillah. Let's move on. We will go to Tahin. Ready, Tahin? Yes. Okay. Question to you on the screen. What number is the longest surah of the Quran? And the options are A is number two, option B is number three, option C is Number four, option D is number five. Number two. A. A. Number two, you think this is the longest surah of the Quran? Yes. Do you know the name of the surah? Yes. What it is? Uh, surah Baqarah. Surah Baqarah. Okay. And you're saying number two is the correct answer. Okay. I'd like to check. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Let's check whether your answer is right answer or wrong answer. If it is the right answer, then this time you'll get five. Mashallah, mashallah, Tahim. Alhamdulillah, you got five. That was the right answer. So, Sarah, if this question was asked to you, what would have been your answer? Um. Which one you would have given the answer? Hope G3. Oh. So, lucky that question wasn't meant to you. Alhamdulillah, anyway. So, Fahim, you got five. And Sarah also has five. Next question goes to Sarah. Sarah, ready? Sarah? I'm ready. Are you ready? Alhamdulillah. I like your confidence, mashallah. That's your question. What is kafara? Okay. Sarah? Four. Would you like the options? Four. Okay. There are four options for you. Option A is payment for delaying zakat option b is payment from those who intentionally broke their fast option c is payment from those who unintentionally broke their fast and option d is payment from those who missed their fast Selfless a a that is the final answer. 
before I lock, a chance for you if you want to change your mind. <laughs> no, that's fine. If you don't like to change your mind and you want to stick with your answer with A, it is the time to reveal the and check whether your answer was the right answer. Uh-oh. Sadly, your answer, Sarah, was the wrong answer. So obviously, next person standing, chance for you. Would you like to give the answer? You'll get five. Yes. Wrong answer, minus five. You have to go for it. Mashallah, mashallah. So that means you have five in your account. It has to be minus if it is wrong. Otherwise, obviously, five will be added. Okay, what is your answer? C. C. Payment from those who unintentionally broke their fast. Yes. I think it's C. You think is the C. Did you read the answer? Yes. Yeah. It is clear to you that those people who are inter unintentionally breaks their fast, they have to pay the kafara. Huh? Yeah, that's right. Okay. If you say it is the C, it is time for us to check whether your answer is the right answer. You said it is C. The kafara means payment from those who unintentionally broke their fast. That was the wrong answer, sadly. Tahim. So you just lost five. Never mind, the game goes like this. Okay. So your score is standing at zero. Sarah has five. Okay. In fact, the kafara is kafara payment from those who intentionally broke their fast. See, kafara is the punishment from Allah. Those people, there was no reason for him to break the fast and he broke his fast for nothing. So Allah punishes that person. That person has to pay the kafara to feed the 60 poor people. That is called kafara or he has to pay the money. Anyway, Alhamdulillah. Sarah, Fahim ready? Yes. This is your question. Is intention for fasting is there's four options for you i'm just giving you one after another intention for fasting is a not necessary b is sunnah c is nafal and d is far so what it is intention for fasting is it not necessary sunnah nafal for what you think do you have to make the intention or you, what you think up to you? Nothing. Nothing, you say? Yes. Okay. Nothing, you said. Shall I lock it before you want to, if you want to change your mind, you have the chance. But once I lock it, you cannot change your mind. I think it's fault. You think it's fault. So, shall I lock Nafal or for which one? Oh. Fault. Fault. Okay. First you had in your mind it is Nafal, then you change your mind to fart and see. Oh 
mashallah, mashallah. That was the right answer. Alhamdulillah. So Tahim, you you picked up your five now. You just gained another five. But the answer you first answer you gave, no fall. If you uh, if you were stuck, you didn't change your mind. Then it would have been zero. Mashallah. He changed your mind and that was the right answer. Alhamdulillah. So you got very good answer you gave, mashallah. Question to you, Sarah. Ready? Okay. There's your question. What will happen if someone takes an injection while fasting? Right? Options are for you. A. Fuss is broken. Option B, fast not broken. Option C, pay the sadaqa. Option D is fast another one instead. Okay. If somebody takes an injection, what do you think? His fast is broken or his fast is still intact? I think um, the fast is broken. This is your final answer. Yes. Yes. Okay. I will lock the answer and check whether your answer is right. Okay. Would you like to change your mind, Sarah? Mm. Yes. You have to change it? Okay. okay. For which one you want to go? Um. She want me to keep my answer. I want to keep my answer. Oh, you want to keep A. Okay. If you think so, then it is the time to check whether your answer is the right answer. Uh oh, that's the wrong answer, Sarah. Now it is chance for you. Tahin, would you like to give the answer? Hello. Okay, that's fine then. In fact, the right answer is the B. Fast is not broken. If somebody takes an injection, fast is not broken. So, when I'm looking at the score, both of you, both of you have Tie. Five, five. Okay. So there, therefore, now we are going to decide because another question will be appearing on the screen. Whoever raises the hand will give the answer. If you give the answer, correct answer. That means you'll get 10. Obviously, you are the winner. And if you give the wrong answer, it will be minus 10. So, that is decision-making question is coming up for you on the screen. What does the word Ramadan mean? Okay, options are for you. A, blessings, option B, rewarding, option C, softness, and option D is dryness. Okay, Fahim raised, uh, Tahim, sorry, Tahim raised his hand first. So Tahim, you have the privilege to give answer 
what do you think which one is the right answer blessings i mean blessing fruit blessing blessings blessing the, the a yeah final answer yes this answer is the deciding answer you get 10 or minus 10 right so if it is 10 so obviously you are the winner and if you couldn't give them the right answer so obviously you lost 10 she goes through to the final okay that was your choice fahim tahim you said the word ramadan mean is blessings in fact let's see what it is is it blessing no 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 although in ramadan we get lots of reward but ramadan the word ramadan does not mean the blessings okay so uh, tahim unfortunately uh, you will go home and your journey ends here and sara goes through to the final alhamdulillah so mashallah i congratulate both of you you took part in the competition this is the main important thing and in fact the right answer is ramadan means dryness jazakallah khair alhamdulillah i injured thoroughly mashallah both of you were here for the great competition uh, especially tahim and sara but sara goes through and tahim's journey ends here and those of you who wants to join the ikra quiz tv competition you have to email us quiz at ikra.tv on this email we will respond to you inshallah jazakallah khair everybody mashallah have a wonderful and blessing ramadan assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh